Hello everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to my presentation. My topic is about uh, cloud native semantic layer on data lake. Uh, firstly, let me introduce about myself briefly. My name is Dong Li. Uh, I'm the head of product at Kelligens uh, and also uh, a Pachkailing committer and a PMC member. Uh, and I have worked for uh, eBay and Microsoft before I joined Kelligens. Uh, and here is uh, today's agenda. At first, I will start with a real challenge from a customer and then talk about how to build the semantic layer to solve it with uh, Apache Kaling on Data Lake. Finally, we will have several minutes for uh, Q&A. Uh, to better understand the background, let me briefly introduce a, a real customer we have served in Kaling's. Uh, in fact, uh, this is a fast growing uh, SaaS provider company in US, uh, which has uh, more than 1,800 customers in uh, 40 countries, and uh, one third of the uh, Fortune 50, uh, uh, 500 companies are using their products. As a result, uh, they will gather 8 billion transactions uh, per year, and uh, finally, uh, build the dashboards with uh, with such data, uh, data sites to the end users for uh, data analysis and uh, decision making. Uh, but now they have challenges. Uh, they are using AWS uh, RDS to store all the data and build materialized the view to accelerate the dashboard queries. But uh, with the data volume growing more and more. Uh, slow queries appear, and the uh, more query latency bec uh, become, uh, um, uh, in fact, it's most uh, query latency become uh, more than five minutes. And more importantly, they need to uh, spend uh, four hours at least to uh, refresh the materialized view uh, every day. And uh, uh, more issues about uh, lack of concurrency, lack of uh, flexibility to to the dashboard uh, 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 are also very bothering. Uh, also with, uh, uh, with, with more users onboarding, uh, they need to develop and maintain more views uh, uh, in the system. So they will uh, require a lot of uh, human efforts here. So uh, uh, as a result, uh, they expect to upgrade the data platform to overcome these challenges to provide the, uh, the, the, the flexible dashboard for the end users at first, and then uh, allow the users to drag and drop the predefined some dimensions and the measures easily, and get the uh, high performance with no more than two seconds, and the high concurrency, which is uh, more than 100 concurrent users. It should be very easy to skill on demand to save the resource uh, in the uh, infra level. And also, it requires uh, the, the, the low data preparation latency, uh, which is less than one hour. Uh, and also, uh, should be uh, least uh, efforts to adapt to the new requirements for the system. And uh, in, uh, in other, uh, and also together with the uh, enterprise grade security, and also uh, AWS deployment and the lower TCO, and also uh, they want uh, to, to build the open platform for more innovative scenarios such as machine learning uh, and so on. And so finally, in the world, they are expecting a unified data as a service platform to help the business analysts retrieve the data by themselves and with the high performance and the concurrency. So uh, I believe you may have started to think about the solution to these challenges. And now let's see about the solution with Apache Kaling. So uh, in fact, Apache Kaling is an open source distributed analytics data uh, warehouse in big data industry, just like uh, Hadoop, Spark, and Flink. 
So currently, it's also an important component on the big data ecosystem. So this is uh, uh, the, the data and AI landscape uh, in this year. You can see that uh, currently is, uh, is, is located as the uh, open source framework uh, 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 session with a uh, section with uh, Hadoop and Spark and, and the test and so on. So what does Kalin do in the big data world? Let's start from this architecture. Uh, usually we build uh, the big data platform or the, uh, the data lake on Hadoop, Spark, uh, and even on Cloud. But there is always a gap between the data and the business. And Kalin is the best choice to fill the gap, uh, which, 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 is, which can provide the data mart layer to connect the data and the business in Kalin, users can think the table structure from Hive or other database and then build the OLAP cube to serve BI analysis scenarios and data application. The most important concept of Kalin is the cube, or you can say a data model in, in OLAP domain, which defines the, uh, the dimension and its myers and presented as a semantic layer. And also Kalin will uh, pre-calculate the aggregation uh, aggregation results in each uh, each scenario to speed up the, anal uh, the analysis performance. So as a result, uh, usually the query performance can be less than uh, one second on uh, even PB scale data side. And Kali supports a uh, standard ANSI SQL interface, which should be the most welcome data service uh, API for developers and analysts. Another key advantage of Kalin is the high concurrency. So thousands of concurrency users can be supported with Kalin based on the technology of pre-calculation. So in the latest version of Kalin, it can also analyze the batch data and the streaming data together, which means if the data is ingested in the form of a, a real-time stream, you can also query that with the SQL in Kalin. And till now, uh, we uh, we have seen more than uh, more than one thousand users uh, around the world, such as eBay, Cisco, uh, Yahoo Japan, Baidu, and so on. Most of them are from China, US, and Europe. So we talked about the performance and the uh, concurrency just now. Here we have done some uh, benchmark uh, as a result. So we used the uh, a uh, standard benchmark data site called Star Schema Benchmark, which includes a series of tables and a data generator to populate any size of the data site, and also 12 SQL queries uh, against these tables. We compare the query performance between Kalin and another SQL Hadoop engine. In the latter chart, each bar shows the query latency uh, for the each SQL query. Uh, so the green one is Kalin, and the green one is SQL Hadoop. We can see that Kalin can answer all the queries in less than one second, but another engine uh, requires more seconds. And the, in the red chart, it shows, that, uh, it shows the, uh, how the latency change with the data scale in, uh, increasing. As we know, uh, most of the SQL Hadoop is based on MPP technology, to process more data, it will require more resource. But if the resource is limited, the latency will become larger. As Kalin is not, Kalin's latency can keep nearly constant with the data skill uh, increasing. So the most common use case of Apache Kalin is to serve the interactive BI, such as Tableau, Power BI, SuperSize, and so on. So with the standard SQL, uh, interface, Kalin provides ODBC and JDBC drivers to, to integrate. No matter how many rows of data site in the under layer, the interaction is smooth. So how does Kalin accelerate these queries? Let's go deep into the basic idea of the pre-calculation. Firstly, Kalin uses Avatch CalSite to pass the SQL and builds the logic plan like this tree uh, structure which is consists of several nodes like table scan, join, filter, uh, aggregation, and sort. 
the time complexity for this process is O n because each row is uh, in the original tables must be scanned. But Kali writes this part to leverage the pre-calculated result. We call it, it, it as cube. In fact, Kali computes all the aggregation results for different combination of the dimensions and saves the result to the cube. In the query time, the logic plot will be optimized to just scan the, the rows uh, uh, which has already stored in the cube. And the, the, the number of rows in the cube is decided actually by the cardinality of the dimensions rather than the size of the inputs. Uh, so uh, we can see that the time complexity for this uh, algorithm is O1 in theory. And now let's look at the technical uh, architecture of Kali. To start from the left bottom side, Kali will uh, extract the source data from Hive and Kafka. Since Hive is the uh, most common data warehouse uh, standard on Hadoop platform, and also uh, Kafka is uh, very popular as a streaming. After the data is extracted, Kali will execute a series of my produced job or uh, stack jobs to run the pre-calculation and finally store the results to edge base. At the runtime, the SQL query is sent from the application to Kali and Kali translates this query, uh, query logic into a, a series of, of scan and filters to edge base and, uh, and, uh, and also we have the parquet engine here to get the pre-calculation result and finally finish the query. So, and besides this, the latest version of Kotlin here on the cloud native features to run all this stuff uh, on the cloud platform, just like uh, like the uh, like we can store the cubes data on AWS S3 and the Azure Blob and also other objective storage engines here. And here is the use case uh, from Yahoo Japan, which is the most visited website in Japan. In Japan. Uh, they use the Kali to replace Impala and uh, accelerate uh, the uh, reporting workloads. The performance improved from uh, from the minutes to less than one second. Also, they have a very good architecture of the cross-region solution here. And you can visit uh, Kali's website to read the blog and learn and learn more. Uh, here we we will uh, we we won't uh, talk too much uh, to save the time. And nowadays, uh, the cloud native has become uh, 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 the, buzz, the, the buzzword, even in the big data domain. And the Kali is also on the way of cloud native. Uh, firstly, Kali can have less dependency, uh, such like uh, to, to use uh, Kubernetes uh, instead of Hadoop. So, and uh, also to become more uh, lightweight with uh, less dependency. And more important is, uh, Kali can uh, automate the scaling uh, to save the total resource and, the, and to uh, reduce uh, the, the total cost. And together with the uh, computing uh, storage separation, users can scale out to quickly accomplish the pre-calculation workload and scale in to keep a small uh, machine uh, site to answer the, the, the queries workload. And all the data is uh, persist on the objective storage. So even there's no uh, computation resource running, all the data can be persisted. Besides the technical side, uh, we are now at the, at the area of big data. We know more and more inter uh, enterprise and companies are going uh, digital transformation with a data-driven methodology. So from the industrial report, we see the data size uh, is keep growing in the next years. And you know that more and more data is landing on the cloud. And because this is the area of the cloud. So, and uh, what will happen now in the enterprise, uh, the chaos happens when the data silos appear when data is stored in multiple uh, cloud platform or multiple data source on the data lake. Because we have so we have so many options and uh, and and uh, uh, engines and database to store and manage your data, but the consumers, the data consumers like the maybe the data analysts or the business users, they cannot find the right way to reach the data they really want. 
So, so between the, the application and the data lake, where, uh, what is missing here? May, maybe lots of human efforts uh, is used to writing code to do the ETL, or maybe you want to uh, put another database engine here. So start about uh, Kalin. So there should be a unified layer here to provide the one-stop government, uh, the, the, the one-stop government platform to package the data as a service and provide the single source of truth to the business side to, to be leveraged can, uh, by the business analyst or the business users. So they can define the data side and the KPIs in the platform and translate the data from the technical view to the business view. In the eyes of the business analyst, they just need to talk with the predefined data models and won't take care of the technical stuff like the tables and the columns. And on the technical side, the data models will be pre-calculated as Q with the uh, with Kalin to improve the interactive performance. So as a result, with the uh, standard SQL or MDX interface provided, each application and BI tools can achieve the consolidated data view above the data lake and really uh, obtain the single source of truth. And, and, and you know that Kali is, is, is good as the performance uh, 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 improvement. So you can also achieve the high performance and high concurrency. So this is the so-called unified semantic layer. So with the uh, uh, unified semantic layer, it is very easy to build the data as a service platform, no matter which tools you use. So maybe uh, Tableau or Excel. We have the uh, you can see the, uh, the, the the demo here. Uh, we have done the, uh, the, the 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 dashboard in Tableau in the left chart, and also the Excel in the right chart. So uh, no matter this is uh, Tableau or Excel or other any BI tools. They just read the same data model and the same basic logic definition from the unified semantic layer. And even the other layer data side is very large, say uh, 60 billion rows in total, and can be analyzed interactively easily, even in the Excel. Uh, because you know that uh, Excel will crash if the data size become larger, say maybe uh, tens of thousands rows. Uh, maybe will kill the Excel. So now, but, uh, but now 60 billion rows can be handled in the Excel. You can see that with the uh, drag and the drop uh, in the Excel's pivot table, it's very, uh, it works very smoothly. Now let's, uh, so, so, so maybe we can now talk about the expectation of the customer we've just mentioned in the beginning. They want, uh, this, in fact, so what they want is a, a unified, uh, flexible, performant data as a service platform. Now they have one. They can just uh, uh, use Apache Kali, this open source uh, technology on cloud. And one more case here, we have seen a user uh, use Kali to replace uh, IBM Cognos cubes. As a result, it's, it is uh, more than uh, 1,000 uh, and uh, uh, 200 IBM Cognos cubes are replaced with two cubes of Kali and also uh, finally achieved with uh, more than uh, 1,000 times approved uh, maintenance efficiency and 10 times faster and even more stable performance here. Uh, finally, let's talk about the architecture here. Once you have landed your data in the data lake on cloud, you have uh, you have centralized uh, all your data in the in different storage, different engines here, uh, and you want uh, you want to get better uh, uh, an, uh, anal analytics performance and the, the consolidated data view above all of the data is a data lake and to provide a unified uh, experience on the BI. So Kali can provide the unified semantic service layer above that and simplify the whole data utilization for the uh, OLAP scenario. So until now, we have finished the presentation today. Uh, now we have several minutes to uh, do the Q&A session. Thank you.